Hi everyone, I'm Sonia Trivedi, Communications Manager here at Muro, and we are at day one of Muro Mood Global 2023. Today I have with me my colleague, Matt Porit, Platform Manager LMS, and I'm curious to know a little bit more about his work and his recent presentation, which was on Muro LMS 4.3. Matt, hello. Hello, thank you. So um, I'm the platform manager, as you say, for LMS. And what that means is Moodle LMS is a big piece of software. It's a, a big product. So we manage uh, everything in it across two different teams. Uh, and my team is the platform team. And we look after the core of Moodle. So all of your user management, your administration, uh, integrations and security and things like that. And then the other team with my uh, colleague, Brett, is the educational solutions and they look after their courses and activities and education things. And I've uh, just had a really great uh, presentation uh, at the Moot. Uh, I got to talk about all of the new things that we're doing in Moodle 4.3 and some a bit of a look at some of the things that are coming in 4.4 as well. That sounds exciting. So for our audience, could you please summarize which are the main features that uh, people can expect to see in Moodle 4.3? Yeah, and summarizing is hard. There's so many new things yeah. coming in 4.3. There's over 260 uh, new things in the next version. Uh, but some things that are, we're particularly proud about, although I'm, I'm proud about everything, uh, the way that activities are displayed in courses and the way that both students and teachers uh, interact with those. So from a student perspective, when they're on a course page and they see their activities, uh, they can easily, uh, more easily see what they have to do for that com activity to be complete. Uh, they also, if a teacher set it up so a student has to do some things before they can actually take an activity, that's more easily communicated to the student as well. Uh, but it's done in a way that it doesn't take up so much room on the page. So it just really allows uh, students to focus on what they need to do with their learning. And on the teacher side, there's a great set of tools and improvements to make it easier doing common tasks in courses. If you, for example, if you wanna update uh, what a student needs to do for an activity to be marked as complete, you can just do that from the course card where the completion criteria is displayed. And when you get into it, you only have to see and adjust the settings that relate to that particular feature, not the entire activity. Um, and there's lots of things that we're adding in 4.3 in the course and activity space that just were really aimed at sort of optimising outcomes for students and teachers and just helping them reduce their workload and focus on the things that are important to them. And you already touched a little bit upon uh, that, but I want to ask you, what would be the benefits mainly for teachers and students? And can you elaborate a little bit more, like focusing on their particular activities and sharing a little bit more? Why should people expect this release? Yes, yeah, so once again, it's sort of across sort of many, many areas, and there's a few ways we can uh, categorize this. Um, one of the one of the things I've talked to about already is optimizing outcomes. So being able to you know more easily facilitate their learning, which is both better for students and for teachers. The other one is uh, facilitating collaboration. So we've got a lot of features coming in 4.3 to make it easier to work together and, and collaborate. So one of the things we have is improved functionality to be able to share courses and parts of courses to MoodleNet, which is our open education repository. Uh, we've got uh, new functionality coming in 4.3 that makes it easier to connect to communication systems. Uh, and one of those that we're shipping out of the box in 4.3 is the ability to connect your courses uh, directly to the Matrix chat platform. Uh, there are several others as well, and especially around the gradebook for teachers. Uh, the gradebook is very big and very flexible because teachers need to be able to do it for all of the different ways that people use Moodle and do assessments in Moodle. So we've really focused on, you know, making some of the common things that people have to do uh, for setting up their gradebook in Moodle much simpler. And also doing that without sort of taking the context away of where they are. For example, if they know a teacher wants to add a new grade item in the grade book, uh, it's easier for them to do. It's not a separate page or a separate area of Moodle anymore. They do it just where they're setting up their grade book. Uh, 
and the way that they find their students for grading and things like that is much easier in the gradebook. Okay, okay, thank you for this summary. And last but not least, I know that you and your team are constantly working on improving the platform and new releases. I want you to give us a little bit of um, secrets, let's say, uh, for what is there to come beyond 4.3. Yeah, so we've already got things well underway for 4.4. That's released yeah. in April next year, so it's not very far away either. Uh, there are a few things I can share uh, where we've recently completed a large piece of research around notifications in Moodle. And if you think of that as sort of getting the right information to the right people at the right time, um, we did a lot of research around user needs and both teachers and students, and we'll be starting to land the parts of that functionality in 4.4. Uh, we're also doing improvements around things that everybody who makes content in a Moodle site does. For example, both teachers and, and students are always creating content, which is making it easier for them to do things that they do all the time, like add images and add media to their courses and to their assignments, submissions and things like that. Uh, and so, so much more. Uh, there's LTI improvements, there's course layout improvements, there's lots of things. So much more. I think that's a great way to uh, end this conversation. Thank you, Matt, for joining me and enjoy Moodle Moods. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for having me. Thank you.